Hey guys, uh, David Ryan here, uh, professional angler and owner of Dave's Custom Baits. Uh, just wanted to do a quick little bio of, uh, of some of the things that I've been a part of over the years and my 30 plus years of fishing for uh, these green bass that make you lose sleep at night. Um, so uh, as a teenager, uh, I had two desires. One was to play professional basketball and the other one was to uh, be a professional uh, tournament fisherman. So I went to college on a basketball scholarship and kind of had some uh, Achilles tendon issues and ended up dropping out my sophomore year to become a professional bass angler. Let me tell you, my parents were very proud. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I, fished, uh, I fished BASS in the 90s for about five or six years. Uh, uh, you know, I fished the uh, top 150s, which those were the bass elites back before the, they became bass elites. Um, I, I fished the FLW Tour, I fished the Bass Opens, I fished uh, the, the Coast Events, which now are the Toyota Bass Series, um, and I'm still fishing uh, some of those events, and also the BFLs, which back a long time ago, they were red mans, and you had two pros in the boat fishing against each other, and uh, now it's, uh, it's a pro-co type setup. So you've got a co-angler in the back of the boat, which makes it so much nicer, because those days of having to flip a coin to see whose fish you fish first, then flip a coin to see whose boat you took, and then flip a coin for anything and everything else. So it's, uh, it's really kind of uh, transformed into a, a really cool industry. Um, especially you know considering of where it started um, for me I fished my very first tournament which was an old red man tournament uh, back in it was either 1989 or 1990 and uh, it was here at Truman Lake it was in March um, it was cold I'd never been in a big boat before I actually went as a co-angler I at the time I had a I had a, a tracker a uh, 16 footer with a 35 horse mercury on it and that's what I practiced out of that's what I fished out of and uh, and so I drew this guy who had a 20 foot Stratus with a 225 Yamaha on it and we went from Bucksaw all the way up to the end of the Palmy River and uh, it was it was cold and I'd never experienced cold like that before so uh, I, I got a rude awakening, you know, because jersey gloves with the cut off fingers, you know, thinking you're cool and you're going to make a 35 mile run, you know, in 35 degree weather, not so great. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, in 2000, I'm going to jump forward, uh, in 2004, um, I had fished a tournament here, a BFL tournament here at Truman, and uh, took my boat home and parked it in my detached garage. And that evening, or early the next morning, I had someone pounding on our door at four o'clock in the morning, and this is when I live in Levisee, Missouri. And uh, they said, your barn's on fire, your barn's on fire. Well, there had been a lightning strike that had hit my detached garage, and my wife Candy said, somebody's at the front door. And I kind of understood what he was saying. And when I got out of bed and went and looked out the window, I immediately got sick to my stomach because it wasn't the barn that was on fire. It was my detached boat garage with my brand new boat in it, with all my old baits in it that, and my Loomis rods and, and all my specialty tackle. And uh, it went up in flames. And it was, it was pretty, pretty sickening. So, uh, rebuilt the garage, and all of a sudden, Dave's Custom Baits was born. So, in October of 04, I started Dave's Custom Baits. I started uh, airbrushing, you know, stick baits, top waters, crank baits, all of that. And then, as I was trying to replace my old Bagley's that I had from the fire, uh, my Balsa B1s, B2s, B3s, I figured out that I was buying a lot of junk off eBay. Uh, so, I thought, I can make these. So I invested in some machinery and buying some balsa wood and buying the right type of glue. And all balsa woods are not created equal. I found that out. Um, and so all of a sudden, 
Dave's Custom Baits is up and rolling and I've been building my, my black market balsas since 2005, which I'm very biased, uh, but I think if you ask anyone who's thrown one and thrown anything else, they'll tell you that it's the absolute best square build balsa bait that you can buy on the market. So I'm, I'm very proud uh, to, be, to be the guy who makes those and the guy who paints those. I don't have anyone else trying to do that for me. I don't have a duplicating machine. These two hands are the duplicating machine. Um, and whenever you purchase one of my baits, you know, it's truly custom. But uh, that's, that's it in a nutshell. Um, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've, I've, whenever I was traveling, the unfortunate part of, of fishing, but if you fish long enough and fish enough tournaments, it will happen. Uh, there's been two different times that I've missed the Bassmasters Classic by a fish that comes off or a fish that bounces you know off the side of the boat instead of landing in the boat it landed outside the boat one time i missed it by a pound and two ounces the other time i missed it by four pounds and that four pounder didn't make it in the boat it bounced off the side of the boat and back in the water so i know what heartbreak is like and if you fish long enough everyone is in that situation well i could have won the tournament but i lost that fish or i broke that fish off or you know it's just part of it so you have to learn to smile and take the good with the bad uh, and, and just do the best that you can each and every day. So I'm very fortunate that, that Tyler has given me the opportunity and the platform to be a contributor for TrumanLakeFishingIntel.com. And uh, I would encourage all of you guys that are watching to go out there and join. And we're going to be putting on some, some great videos. Videos that aren't like everyone else's. Videos that you get to see the nuts and the bolts and the real way that it works. I'm not about blowing smoke to anyone. I'm going to tell you how it's done. I'm going to tell you why I do it. And my track record speaks for itself. And, and I'm going to give you guys the tools it takes to be successful. So make sure you visit that website. I would love to see you guys join. I'd love to see you guys send us some feedback, you know, tell us what you'd like to see and maybe we can go ahead and incorporate that into our next video. So thanks again and uh, peace out.